Hi, welcome to Threadhead TV. This is Jude Bell. Today's episode, we'll be making a circle sleeve yoga top. Stay tuned for this free people sweatshirt lookalike. This is the free people sweatshirt that I saw for $80 on their website and I loved it and I thought I could make this. Let's figure it out. There are three things I would do differently if I were to make this again. So learn from my mistakes. First thing I would do is make the whole garment out of the same consistent fabric instead of using a different color in the center bodice panel. The second thing I would do differently is make the center front bodice panel a little bit narrow as the one in the Free People ad. The third thing that I would do differently is make the sleeves less full. So we will address that in a few minutes. This is a t-shirt that I had in my stash that I had been wanting to upcycle. I used the back of the t-shirt because I needed to work around the front pocket. Once you've chalked out your front bodice, then fold the bodice in half for cutting to make sure that each side is perfectly symmetrical. I wanted my center bodice panel to be thicker than just a t-shirt. So I added a second t-shirt layer to my front bodice. I then took these two front bodice pieces to the serger and serged them together all the way around the edge. If you don't have a serger, just zigzag a basting stitch around the whole perimeter. I also added some iron-on knit interfacing to the armholes in order to strengthen them since we will be sewing on the sleeves which were pretty heavy. The next step is the front pocket. I chalked out a shape that I liked, making sure I had 5 8 inch seam allowance all around the edge. Then when cutting, you fold in half to make sure both sides are perfectly symmetrical. Use this first one as your pattern and cut out a second one. Put them right sides together, sew all the way around 5 8 inch away from the edge, leave an opening at the bottom through which you can turn it right side out. Clip the corners and the curves, being sure not to cut into your stitching. Before pinning my pocket to the front of my bodice, I zigzagged along the outer edge the whole perimeter of the pocket, which also closed up the hole on the bottom. Center your pocket on the front bodice, pin, and sew along the upper edge, this side edge, and the lower edge. To make the back bodice piece, I used the same width as the front, but I made it come up higher or taller in the back than around the front of the neck. I added a little bit of width to my garment on either side by adding these side panels. I also added interfacing, you'll see the black on the inside at the top of these panels in order to strengthen that sleeve hole opening right under the arm. Next, I made a pattern piece for the front neckline and I altered this pattern piece for the back neckline. I ironed on knit interfacing to both the back and front neckline pieces. The top is the back neckline piece and the bottom is the front neckline piece. Then we sew along this pin line the front neckline piece to the front bodice and the back neckline piece to the back bodice. Try on your bodice piece to make sure your head fits through the hole. If it's too tight of a fit to get your head through it, you can always trim it up a bit as I did all the way around. Now onto the circle sleeves. The circle sleeves probably look more complicated than they actually are. The first step is to measure the circumference of the opening 
of the armhole on your bodice piece. Measure all the way around. My circumference was 48 inches. So from there, I had to figure out how much extra do I need in order to give me enough fabric to actually have some gathers here around the seam. So my eighth grade son helped me do this geometry map because high school geometry was way too long ago for me. So if you know your circumference, you can figure out the radius. However, simplify it for yourself. You do not need to use this equation, so just throw it away. Here's what I would recommend. Measure the length of the sleeve from the shoulder to just over the elbow, that length that you want. Add five inches to that length and boom, you've got your radius for your circle. Now I'm saying add five inches because you're going to end up cutting out those five inches for the opening of your arm at the bottom where you make your cuff. Now I ended up using twice the circumference in fabric. So I had a 48 inch circumference. I basically had more than a 100 inch circumference circle of sleeve fabric when I was done with these full circles because of my radius. Does that make sense? So you don't need that much fabric is what I'm trying to say. You don't need to cut out full circles. So I would say make your circles this large because you need the sleeve length, but you don't need the fullness. So you don't need a full complete circle. This, when you open it up, would be a half circle. You could add another you know, quarter of a circle to your half circle so that you don't have as much volume in the sleeves. To make the inside of my donut, I used a five inch radius to cut out that inside circle. And here I'm using my first half circle that I just chalked out as my pattern piece for my second one. And I actually cut out four of these half circles and I surged them together to make two full complete circles. And here's where I'm saying that it doesn't have to be a complete circle that lies flat if you want to reduce the volume in the sleeve. Next, I used my basting stitch on my machine and I went around the perimeter of the outside of my circle and the inside of the circle. And I used these stitches in order to gather. Remember, we're gathering the fabric around the armhole at the shoulder and also the armhole at the cuff. We have to gather both places. Once you've done your gathering and you've pulled it to about the measurement around of your armhole, in my case 48 inches, then you find the equidistant points and start at the shoulder and under the arm and then you kind of ease in the fabric and the gathers between those two points. Pin right sides together and then sew using a zigzag stitch to attach the sleeve to the bodice. If you want directions for how to make the cuffs or anything else on this project, there are more detailed directions on my written tutorial, which can be found at instructables.com and I will put the link in the description below. You'll notice that I did not add a hood as in the pattern here, which I could go back and add a hood later, just kind of tuck it underneath and sew it in. That wouldn't be that hard. I have made a hood. You can see it on my channel as part of my grommet sweater and I will put a link to that below as well. Thank you so much for joining me on Threadhead TV. This is Jude Bell. Come on back for more great projects and sewing inspiration. Please like and subscribe below.